Hi everybody, Norfolk Boy here. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And here I am with my first uh, video for this year. Um, and this one's for Kilohertz, um, the company I think that does this and um, they have a free synth going for free. So um, this is just a short video telling you all about it. If you go to docs on their site and then go to download and installation yep yeah, that's what we want uh, and click on download and installation then just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll get to what's called khs1 which is the free synth and um, which they're decided to discontinue but still let you download and use um, so here here we are where we can download the windows version or the mac version obviously i'm going to download the mac version so let's go Again, like I say, you don't have to actually, well, I didn't say, but you don't have to make an account to actually do that. So that's quite handy. But if you do make an account with them, you can get a lot of free effects with them. So that might be worth taking a look at. I certainly will at some point. Okay. To the installation, pretty much the same. Just right click with a Mac and open and follow the instructions. I'm not going to install it myself, but you know, this is the way you go through it. Like any of the others, just continue. Agree. It will ask you after you've picked what you want. Um, it, they only do audio unit and VST uh, and AAX. Um, yeah, um, once you've said what you want, um, you just type in your login password. I'm going to open it up in Ableton first because it's slightly different when you open up in different doors. This Ableton, if we drop down the list and look for kilohertz, and there they are, and I'll just open up the actual synth itself. So that's the first patch you'll you'll get. Um, now, when you click on that patch there, it doesn't really show any patches in Ableton. You have to do the drop down arrow and it shows all the different patches that are on here. So if I just choose one, a little bit of a pluck. So that's the way that you get to all the presets in Ableton. Um, but if you don't want to use Ableton, we've got some other. I'm just going to open up in Cubase a minute just to um, demonstrate how it's different in here. Right, let's create an empty project. And let's add. Uh, it seems that it shows up in its own folder in um, Cubase. So yeah, just drop down arrow install let me just change to my keyboard um yeah and here we are but in here is, instead of actually looking for the presets like we did in ableton you can click on that and that will show you them all in here which is rather cool let's just mess with a couple of these So it's a freebie, you know, it's got some half decent sounds and also you can create your own. So if we just click over here on these little drop down lists they have over here, we can initialize the patch and um, we'll try and make just a, a quick little um, pad type of thing, really, because that's the best thing to kind of see what it can do, really. So you've got a couple of oscillators here. One's noise, the other couple a saw and square saw. I mean, if you look down on this bar here, whatever you um, put your cursor over, it pretty much tells you what it's there, uh, what it's for and what it does. So that's rather handy. So there we are. That's the oscillator uh, wavetable in there. And you can change that to what you require. This is a shape button here. I've never played with this before, so I'm just going to go with the flow. Uh, there's a synth, uh, synth, honestly, a sync knob. This is your octave up, your octaves down. Yep, semitones up and down. 
don't really know what this is, to be honest, so I'm going to be honest and say I don't. Um... Okay. Not sure, but still. Okay, so over here we've got the envelope, so if I just change this to the attack up a bit... As you can see, you're, you're getting the slow evolve upwards now. Let's change the shape a little bit there, shall we? Yeah, okay, uh, bung up the release. Up with the K, down a little bit with the sustain. That'll do for me, I think. A pad sound now anyway. Let's go down here and put up the unison. That goes up to about eight, I think. This is a voice section. A little bit of detune. Just mess about with these things really and you'll get the required sound. Basically, so okay, that's grand. We've got a filter over here. Um, the filter number one is obviously with oscillator number one. So if I slide the slider up and down on the cutoff, you can see it changes. And that gives an extra. Oh, you've got high pass here, and a couple of other different effects on your filter. Looks like you've got a filter envelope underneath as well that you can change the sound of the filter or the way the filter works. A mod envelope. Uh, it says again down at the bottom exactly what this is for. Um, I'll be able to show you a few things um, in a little while that we could use perhaps this for. Um, but if you click down here, you've got three options that you can have and you pick what you want to do with this particular envelope right there. You've got a filter envelope as I said and velocity down here for that. And up here oh, let's just let's just play about with this a bit. don't think I'm actually changing anything here. I think you would actually have to go down where it says velocity and say what you want to do like you do in the uh, LFOs and so on. Um, this is a shaper. Um, another extra little thing that changes the initial sound. So again, something else to, to change the sound slightly with. So we've got the, uh, obviously a second filter there that belongs to the um, oscillator two, which we could use. Here's a global LFO, so this is this is pretty much what I know I can use um, for perhaps changing the cutoff of the filter. So let's do, let's just change the rate, and that's the speed here a minute, and just click on here and pick filter cutoff, filter number one cutoff, and let's see what it does. Oh, there you go. So you can slow that down a tide. Got that up and down kind of effect. And then you can just mess about with these to get the required effect you want.
Right, okay. Just have another look at what's in here. But <clears throat> yeah, let's go up to uh, the chorus and mess about a little bit in here. Add to the sound. And here, underneath, we have the delay. So let's uh, up the spread a bit. Good little synth to practice with, I think. And here you've got a glide, of course, which will uh, give you the uh, glide effect. I don't know if we'll be using that much in this, but you know, this is the uh, the sub, so you get a bit of bass. You can hear it coming through right now. Drop that another octave. Too low. Uh, that's not too bad. So let's grab the shape until you get very quiet. I mean, it's all, you know, to your ear really and what you want to create. second oscillator here of course that we can uh... oh yes down here yeah so yeah let's let's do the second oscillator so we've got uh, again we've got the same as the top one really noise oscillator square saw we'll drop this one down an octave organ sound. <laughs> okay so we've got um, a second filter as I say again you can you can mess about with this and change it to your desire. This will change your oscillator to sound with this filter. this let's go to um, filter to cut off You've got a master volume switch over here as well, and I see you've also got, let's just bring this down a little bit. 
some treble and some bass if you want to change the initial sound of and you've also got a limiter down here which is rather handy which will stop it from clipping mod wheel underneath of course so that you can um, make your mod wheel do certain things to the synth so yeah Let's just um, go in here and add an extra, perhaps, reverb or delay. I'll go another and use the good old faithful Fahala. Just pick my favorite for quickness, really, I think. So we'll go to Echoes Dotted. Mixes up high. So hopefully this will give you a general idea of what you can do with this little synth. It's not a bad little synth, it's free. So, you know, if you feel like downloading it, go ahead and download it and play. A bit of reverb as well. Just leave that as it is, I think, the default. And we are there. about a bit more with this and uh, for free it doesn't throw out a bad sound. Thanks for watching. That's just a little quick video uh, showing you the KHS-1 synth. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.